So I wanted to speak about um, control systems. Now, not in the general sense, but we can start from the general sense. Control systems is an engineering, it's an engineering concept, pretty much. Um, I guess the best way to think about it is, let's say you had a room that you wanted to be at 20 degrees Celsius, of course. Now that room is not naturally 20 degrees, but you have a climatization system for the room. Air conditioner, heater, and what that system does is it detects the temperature and it applies either heat or cold where necessary. Um, a, a better control system would apply a variant amount of heat. It could apply uh, or, or cold. Um, so if it's 20.1, you'd apply a little bit of cold just to bring it to that 20, right? And if it was 25, would you bring a lot more cold to get it to that 20? And the control system would also detect um, the rate of change if it was at 25 degrees but you saw it was getting colder very fast well you might depending on the speed you might actually even put heat in the room because you might be saying hey look it's going to shoot way below 20 if it keeps at this rate so I gotta start putting heat in the room so it balances out at 20 so this is uh, control math, control science, control engineering and this is all and interesting and useful but what we should understand is these control systems are also present in our brain our brain acts as a control system in in more realms than one and let me give you an example take uh, a driving simulator and you run a bunch of people through this driving simulator and you try to tell them you know run the driving simulator as smooth and controlled as possible. So different people will run it differently, but in the end they will have a certain amount of gas that they used. And whoever used the least amount of gas meant that he wasn't braking too often, he wasn't putting too much gas and then braking, he was properly controlling his driving. And from this example you can see that the steadiest and most controlled driver uses the least amount of energy. Now this obviously can come from an evolutionary standpoint, but this is the job of a brain. A brain, not the job, but one of the jobs of a brain is to is to control its surroundings um, in a set and steady way. <laughs> So, um, this control um, is, is meant to, to bring your will into the world. You have a will um, which for the system, in, uh, the temperature system, it's 20 degrees, right? So you always detect if your will has, has, occur has occurred if it's 20 degrees and you, you adjust things around you in order to bring this into control so it's the same example with the driving the person who, who naturally has a better brain for control will use less gas less energy now what I found is that this control system is also present in our morality morality on a general scale has on one end um, kindness, love, generosity, right? These are all moral things, the, the act of kindness and generosity. And on the other end, there is justice. And, you know, the classic idea from, I guess, from Hollywood is the villain 
who gets thrown over the edge of some cliff and the hero comes and grabs his hand. Now, the hero now has the decision. Am I going to use kindness and pull him up? I'm going to use mercy and pull him up and, and, and give him another chance, right? That's what mercy does. It gives him another chance. Or I'm going to give him what he deserves, justice. He deserves to fall. Uh, now, usually, um, most of the heroes portrayed in Hollywood will try to pull him up, and then the villain will reveal his true colors and die anyways. But every so often, you get a, a, an anti-hero or some or whatever that believes very strongly in justice and allows the person to fall. And you, as the watcher, feel good about it because he's done justice, right? So that's morality. It's what you feel good, what you feel most good with, right? Um, obviously, obviously, um, in the courts, the courts are there to, to bring justice, right? If you, if you ever came to a court, the morality of a court would be justice, right? The judge would hammer down his hammer or whatever the judge does and says, guilty or not guilty. But he wants to find, based on law, based on just, justness, if you're, you're going to get punished or not, right? He wants to give you justice. Um, he's not there to show you kindness. But he can show a bit of mercy. He can be lenient, right? And so this control system is, is present in all in everyday life. And uh, really, the goal, the will, is to be moral. And you see, if you go too far towards justice, well, you start killing and innocent will die. And that's not good right and if you go too far towards the kindness side well you'll start you know molesting children <laughs> um, you know uh, you'll start uh, it's, it, that's an extreme but yeah too much kindness is also not good it's not uh, you'll deprive yourself of, of your own uh, your own benefit. Um, so that's really the the scale. You don't want to you don't want to show kindness to someone who just robbed you. You don't. That's not that's not in your in your morality scale. And so basically, this is the uh, scientific way of looking at morality on this scale where where it can be justified through scientific means through evolution um, and also it comes from tradition from from Kabbalah that uh, this is the scale that's present there and it's something that really speaks about morality and obviously it doesn't just speak about our morality but that's what uh, the topic I'm coming so the control system is present there and then in order to bring that morality to fruition, you need some kind of physical control system, which um, is a balance between uh, the eternal and the temporary. Um, these are, this is vague. Eternal means uh, end goal, right? Like the, the means justify the end sort of thing, right? Well, you know, I might have done something wrong now, but uh, in the end, it was worth it. You'll see that the good comes out of it, right? That's the eternal side. Then there's the, the temporary side, which is um, now. I'm not going to do evil now. I don't care what happens in the future, but I'm just going to be as good as I can now. Um, so that's another scale of morality, which is which is also part of that control system and the morality of, of human beings. Now, this system is present to override the instinctual, the instinctual uh, animal side of man, right? You've got this moral system to override instinct. And as long as this moral system is stronger, 
than your instincts and well developed and well taught. I mean, you can see all kinds of gray lines and stressing all kinds of things. Um, as long as you're balanced in, in, and your control system is set up properly, um, you, should, you should be moral. Um, a person should generally be moral. Um, problem is, um, immorality is taught. Now, I'll give you an example. Um, I'm going to come into a bit of history here and maybe some religious views uh, that people I'll try to stay as um, political as possible not to not to do any harm but let's come to the stage where you have an entire Roman population now the Romans are on the side of justice they they don't show a lot of kindness to well not to their enemies not to their own kind right you got the gladiator pits you got the uh, the killing of the handicapped because that's the merciful thing to do, right? Um, oh, I wanted to say on kindness also. If if you're too kind to someone, you don't let them grow. You don't let them develop, right? If you want, if you want to, you're teaching a kid to walk. You're not gonna be too kind to him and carry him all the time, right? You're gonna let him, you know, struggle it out, beat it out. You know, you can't show too much kindness to him, or he'll never learn, right? So, anyways, uh, at the Roman stage, they were destroying uh, civilizations. You know, you, you, Rome is painted very beautifully in the history books, but it was very, <coughs> it wasn't so beautiful. They had lots of torture, public tortures. Um, Actually, it's not always painted beautifully. I'm sure it's painted also in that way. And people enjoy watching that sort of thing um, and reading about it. But it comes to the stage, um, <coughs> someone who who uh, wanted to bring truth to that civilization. Now, I'm not saying, um, I'm not speaking about the man, but I'm speaking about the the Christianity that came afterwards. And the Christianity that came afterwards stresses all throughout Christian literature the kindness aspect. Because kindness is what balances this justice. And basically, if you're standing in pure justice, you gotta move. You gotta the direction you gotta travel is towards kindness. It's direction. So there's nothing wrong with painting that direction. It's just what happens if you you stress kindness so much that you just sort of go past the middle, past the balance, right? Like society obviously overnight is not going to go from justice to kindness. They're going to work on themselves through generations, through, through, through thousands of years. And eventually, you weed out all the justice from stressing kindness so much. And, uh, and you get this, this religion that's just over, overdone the kindness. And I mean, you can see it hasn't really been kind in history. It's done a lot of murders itself, but that's because the people, that's what they were at. And nowadays, today, um, overall, the religion, uh, the people are, are stressing kindness. And you see what happens when priests start molesting school children because, you know, if you're already in kindness, you don't want to keep going there. It's not the, the right direction. You want to balance yourself. You want to balance justice and kindness. Um, that's the general rule. That's where the, the, the eternal and the temporary come in line, right? The, the temporary goal is kindness, but it's not the eternal goal. The eternal goal is the balance, right? And so when you take this temporary uh, goal of kindness and turn it into an eternal goal, well, that's when you get lies. And that's when, 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 when things go wrong. Now let's put it the other way. You have uh, an Arab population um, who was overly kind at the time. Um, you know, uh, history might paint it differently, but uh, there, there, are, there are histories where, where it shows that Arab, Arab population, and, and I mean, it's still in the culture of the kindness. It's, it's, 
you know, you invite someone to your house and they, 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 they feed you, they treat you with respect, they're very kind, right? But, um, and, it, and it's more or less balanced. There was a time where it wasn't balanced and uh, homosexuality was, was huge. Um, not that it's it, not that I'm I'm saying that it's wrong. It's just that when it's over exaggerated, and um, you know that the the civilization has some kind of problem um, when when that sort of uh, practice is common day where everybody I mean does it <laughs> um, and incest and. You know, this kindness was just too much. They were just too kind to each other, everyone. You know, giving their wives away to each other. You know. So, comes to the stage, um, someone who tries to bring truth as well, and says, hey guys, you know, you guys, you guys need a bit of justice in your lives. You need to stray away from this, this, this extreme. And also, this is not a eternal goal. It's a temporary goal, right? The eternal goal is to be balanced. And so, slowly but surely, you get this, uh, this religious view of justice. And in the end, you come up with murder and the, the murder of innocence, and it's all justified through justice. And for them, it's 100% moral. They have no problem doing it, no problem. And I mean, you got to say a lot. It's a, you, it takes a lot of, of, of uh, limiting yourself and, and personal personal strength to be able to commit suicide in in that way. It, uh, um, but it's definitely way too far. It's gone way too far, and it needs to come back to the center a bit. Um, we got to kick the, you know, like. A vision, the next visionary in their culture will come and say, hey guys, you know, we got to push it the other way, right? That's not here, it's that way. Your prophet was wrong. And then, you know, what are they going to do when you say your prophet was wrong? But the prophet wasn't wrong. He wasn't wrong. He was right. But for the time, for, for where they were, um, he guided them in the right direction, just give me an example um, I, I ask you for directions and you tell me where you're looking for is east of here so I go east what happens when I get there I'll say this isn't it he said it was east I'm just gonna keep walking east just keep walking east and I'll pass it and I'll go far east and I won't even know it and so if I were to ask someone for directions over there, the next prophet, the next person to tell us where truth was, he would say, you passed it, buddy. You got to go back west now. And then you are in this position where you got to say, hey, do I believe the first guy that said it was east? Or do I believe this new guy that says it's back west? Well, they're both right. Just depends on where you're standing. Depends on where you are. And... Uh, think we have to search for that balance and I don't want to I don't want to bring too much uh, of this Buddhist philosophy in it but it's very it's a very Buddhist thing to say balance um, but traditionally traditionally it's a, it's also it's uh, it's balance you want to you want to be a, a balanced civilization and a, a balanced people where where you don't you know you don't show too much kindness to people so that they can't uh, figure things out on them on their own and, and they're not just useless people and you don't want to show too much justice to them so that like so it's like you know handle yourself all by yourselves I'm not going to help you at all right and we got to have that 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 idea that there there's a, a control in each of us and, and that control system for morality just has to has to be reset to center re-zeroed and it's not going to happen overnight. Um, it's something that, that might take uh, generations and years. But you got to, every generation, you got to look at your generation. You got to be like, hey, this generation, we need to move a little bit back to that, to the east. Center's east. <coughs> 
So any this is this is this is a, also a big source of conflict between the two peoples, um, because one people is saying no no kindness kindness and the other person is saying no no justice justice. My prophet says this. So. Really, if you pay attention to what uh, to what any moral person would say is balance. Um, yeah, and uh, if you want to study control systems, study them. Uh, I brought one example where it's used in in the human mind. Um, if you believe in in divinity and things like that, and it's unbelievable how much divine decisions are made based on some control system. I mean. People think that, uh, religious people think divinity is is not rational and not logical, but it's it's purely logical and rational. Um, there's there, it's it's like nature. It's got laws. It's got set laws. If you go too far to one side, the control system's gonna kick in and throw you right back. Um, as far as uh, religious philosophy goes, so. Um, Definitely check out control systems and uh, try to apply it 